Hello everybody and welcome back to this new episode of Textile with Alberto. Perhaps you have already heard about warp and weft in textiles. Yes, warp and weft are those things that interlace themselves in order to have a fabric. One yarn goes up and down, the other goes right and left and you create the woven fabric. I have for example a tablecloth over here and we will see through the lean tester what is this warp. Let's see that together. Here we have a plain weave. As you can see, there is a warp yarn that appears and disappears and the weft that appears and disappears. Looms are a machine that inserts weft, but where does the warp come from? Let's see that together. Warping is a process that sets the yarns in parallel before the weft is inserted during the weaving process. Warping is not such an easy process to perform, not easy at all. It's performed through a textile creel. You can charge the textile creel with 10, 1000 or 10,000 yarn cones in order to wrap them into the warp beam. Normally warpers have two reeds, the leasing reed and the reduction reed. In order to paralyze the yarns and then reduce them to a specific distance from each other, these reeds have holes according to the size of the yarn that pass through. You must indeed be very very patient if you want to warp the yarns because you have to pass through each single yarn for each hole and it's not such an easy process. Warpers can be défilé and déroulé. Défilé in case of conventional yarns and déroulé in case of flat plates. These warpers must keep the strap horizontally without making it flex on itself. Glass fibers, armid fibers, cut plastic films, carbon fibers and other particular fibers are warped like this. Défilé warpers covers almost each warpers around the world because let's say it, yarns are hardly ever flat. Anyway, warpers can be sectional and fractional. Sectional in case of woven fabrics and fractional in case of warp knitted fabrics. Sectional beams can reach 3 or 4 meter longs, always sized with some glues or chemicals because the looms actually stress the yarns a lot. But we will talk about this in another video in the future. Fractional beams for warp knitted fabrics are small beams that can be 20 cm or 60 cm long and are hardly ever sized. In the fractional warping the preparation of the warp can be performed from the creel and the warps are taken directly to the machine to create the fabric with the skipping of the beam. Tapes are made like this for instance. Warping and beaming are the same thing. Uh, the answer is almost, it depends. They are practically the same thing but warping means that you warp, you paralyze the yarns. Beaming means that you put the yarns into a beam. As I said previously, when you warp the yarns, maybe this warp the yarns goes directly to the machine with the skipping of the beaming. Normally weaving mills have a department for warping, so you start from the yarn and you finish with the fabric and the quality inspection, but this is not always true. Sometimes company can perform just warping and sell the beams to other companies, to other weaving mills. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below with my email and reddit and so on. If you need some help or consultancy, I am at disposal naturally and yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.